Yo, what's going on YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, checking in, and today I have a confession to make. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Think sharp, man. Listen. Still a full day of eating video. But it's going to be more of a day in the lifestyle video too because I fell off the wagon. I fell off the wagon so hard, I think I've got concussion. I fell off the wagon so hard, I feel like I've gone 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. So, <laughs> basically, I had my macros of what I was meant to be in and I, I don't know what happened. I just went on this mad binge style pizza. Pizza is my freaking nemesis. It's like kryptonite. Shit. Oh. But yeah, pizza. Pizza's been my, my downfall. But I've mapped out my um, body power shred. I'm looking to come in big, full, tight. Not not like, not like bone dry shredded, but like, you know, just massive. Yeah, just straight out massive. So that's all mapped out. My training's all mapped out. <clears throat> Cardio, nutrition. So that starts on Monday. So I decided that today will be a full day of eating, but I'm just I'm just freestyling, just freestyling. I think it is good to show you this because then it shows you what you can do if um, you have one of those days where you're not tracking macros, but you're just eating smart. So I hope it does help you. And if you fall off the wagon, how you can you know, slowly get back on. So, I'm gonna, I need to get to Sainsbury's because I've run out of food and I will take you through my meals for today and also any other little things that happen during the day. Like the woman hitting my damn car. She's put a dent in the wing so now the insurance are coming out to come and assess the car. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But I will see you at meal one. Peace. All right, so meal one. Decided to kick it off with protein pancakes. If you haven't seen the recipe, I will put the link on the screen. Check it out. And turkey rashers. So, the reason why I went with this combo, as I said, I'm not tracking macros, but if you, if from the show, if I look at my diet from the show, um, even the carb up, the show, after the show, the expo, when I got back, I think I'm pretty much out of the ketosis club. Yeah, I think they revoked my membership. I'm gonna get reinstated, don't get me wrong. Body power shred. So, but for now I'm just, as I said, I'm not tracking the macros, I'm just going to stick to a balanced diet. So what I would normally do before would be to have a balanced breakfast, so good protein, fats and carbs. And then I'm going to go for the lower fat option with carbs and with moderate carbs and higher protein for the rest of the day. So that's how I'm going to basically judge my meals without counting the macros. So let's have a look at meal one. Mm -mm -mm. Protein pancakes with turkey rashers and I've got blueberries underneath there too. Mm. What I really needed to complete it would be Borden's Farm pancake syrup. Mm. That would have just set it off. Bellissimo. Mwah. But I don't have it. So blueberries it is. But I used the HyperGrow protein, so I didn't use a whey isolate this time, but the HyperGrow, because it, it's just it's so good. So I mixed that up in there and yeah, it tastes, tastes real good. After this, before my next meal, I'm probably gonna go and get my hair cut. 
I want to get my my beard shaped so back to the thicker look because I really like that and I'll see you at meal two or along the way to get my hair cut so see you later peace that she's so good so good mm. Mm. excellent excellent Alright, so just got back from getting my hair cut and back with the beard. I don't know, sometimes when I get like just the the chin strap I feel like I feel like I look twelve. It's not a good look. So now looking more my age. But what do you guys think? Do you prefer this look or do you prefer the look that I had for um, the Arnold Classic? That's the chin strap look. Let me know in the comment section. Food wise, um, Naisha's back from work now. So, might go to the Caribbean restaurant down the road. I might just treat us for a little, little lunch out. Um, so if we head down there I will take you guys with me and I'll show you what we get so regardless of what happens I'll see you at meal two all right so I'm off to go and pick up meal two off to the Caribbean shop I've been craving that for a little while so and it's still quite healthy I mean they grill their chicken um, Generally, African and Caribbean food is quite healthy, apart from the fact that sometimes with their shoes they use a bit too much fat. So, the first one I'm going to show you what this biatch did to my car. Yep. Yep, and then she tried to say it was my fault, even though she came off a roundabout. Anyway, that's a long story, different story. I'm not going to go into it on this one. Heading over to stir it up to go and get the food. Alrighty, guys and girls. On to meal two. I've just picked up my food from, I end up not going to stir it up. I went in there and then I said, oh, can I have this, this and this? Uh, oh, we don't have that. It's two in the afternoon, lunchtime. You, you don't have any food. Like they, it was like bare. Like they hadn't done any cooking. So left there, went down to Blue Jays down the road, and I got. Um, Nigel got peppered steak and rice and peas. I got jerk chicken with rice and peas. Um, I'm gonna play it up, and I'll show you once I've done that. See you in a sec. All right, so there we go. Rice and peas with jerk chicken. Okay, now with the um, rice, I don't tend to eat all the rice that comes with it. They normally put you know, a decent amount of chicken, um, but then a shed load of rice. So, you know, if you're looking at portions and stuff like that, you wanna try and avoid eating the full portion of rice that they give you, because they do put a lot in it. So the ratios aren't what I would go for, but you know, this is just about eating smart, not being stupid. So I'm gonna eat this, then got to attend to some client emails, and then on to meal three, which I will see you at in a bit. I also just mixed up um, some BCAAs. So still sticking to, trying to stick to um, about four to five liters of water a day. And I just didn't feel like drinking plain water so put some BCAAs in it just to give it a bit of flavour not for any other reason and that's it so I'm gonna chow down see you at the next meal peace all right guys it is about 8 30 just gone now I have meal three probably gonna fit one more meal in before this uh, before I go to bed even and I thought I'd have a jacket potato and cheese with tuna and sweet corn and salad cream because I've been craving it so I feel like I'll have it.
Um, it all changes as of Monday as I start my body power mass gain shred ridiculousness. But yeah, that starts Monday. So I'm just going to enjoy these next few days, next two days before it starts. And as I said, it's all mapped out. So I'm excited to start it and test it out. But let me show you what I'm eating now. Mm -hmm. It helps I went with a lower fat cheese. So that's meal three. Probably gonna fit one more meal in. Yeah, got a few more emails to send, a few more clients to tend to. So I'm gonna get on with that, eat this, and I'll see you at meal four, fourth and final meal. Alright, guys, so now on to meal four, fourth and final meal. Before I go to bed, I was gonna have uh, chicken and veg um, just to keep it a bit light, but yeah, ended up with jacket potato, tuna, and cheese again. Well, it's more the potato, so it's not as bad. Um, yeah, macro wise, I didn't track anything today, didn't want to track anything. I also haven't really trained this week. I trained the first couple of days and then I did um, a sprint session with one of my boys and the intensity just wasn't there. I, like I, I just felt literally drained of all, all energy. So I was like, you know what, I don't even want to do a deload week. I don't want to do anything. I just want to rest. So that's all I've done. So from Wednesday, that's all I've done. Just rested, stretched and ready to hit it hard from Monday. So, I'll show you my food quickly. I actually think this one has more cheese than the last one. But it's all right, because it's 30% less fat. That's my justification. All right, so as that's my last meal, I guess that concludes another full day of eating. I hope, like I said at the beginning, you found it informative in terms of you can fall off sometimes and most of the people that say that they're strict with their diet year round and they never slip up, you know, 90% of them are probably lying. There's probably a, a very choice few that are telling the truth on that. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just when you do fall off, get back on. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and until next time, peace. You can't hide, you can't run. R remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it, I got my whole